Believe it or not, this is one of the simplest and most effective ways to stop or slow down soldiers advancing over land. It's steel concertina wire. This stuff is really nasty. Mess with it and hundreds of metal teeth will cut you to ribbons. And because it's made of high tensile reinforced steel, you can't even blast it out of the way. Sure, you could use bolt cutters, but you gotta remember where they place this. Direct line of observation, direct line of fire. Every second spent trying to cut through this stuff is a second longer in the enemy's field of view. And if they spot you, you've just lost the element of surprise. And most likely, your life. As long ago as the First World War, when advancing infantry came up against barbed wire, they used a device called the Bangalore torpedo to blast their way through. But blast alone is useless against concertina wire. The Bangalore torpedo fundamentally hasn't changed in 90 years. It's a big steel tube packed with explosives. Great for taking out barbed wire. Great for blowing things apart. But against concertina wire, to take this stuff out, you need something with an edge. Which is exactly what one British company has come up with. They re-examined the original Bangalore torpedo design to see if they could update it for the needs of the 21st century soldier. What they came up with is the Bangalore blade. So what we've done is we've designed it so that you've effectively got four shaped charges which fly off. And each one of those is like a, a, a blade or a sword that just chops straight through this in all directions. So first of all, you've, you've cut it, and then the blast effect of the, the explosive itself will then blow it out of the way. So it's a two-stage two approach. It's cut it and then blast it out of the way. Step one is to pack the tube with plastic explosive. The old version had a steel body, but aluminum makes it lighter and easier to carry. Perfect for special operations. But the real design breakthrough is that unlike the old Bangalore torpedo version, it doesn't rely on blast alone to clear the wire. Instead, this one produces cutting blades which shred the wire into pieces. When that goes off, what it does to these sides is it starts forming these into mini projectiles. And each one of these will come out as a blade and it's being blown this way. So essentially you've got a, a shape charge going this way, going down out to the sides. Exactly. So you're cutting in four directions. Absolutely. Next, you fit the detonator, which only takes a few seconds. You put the detonator in there, and you close it, and you take the leads, and you wrap them around there. That's perfect for electronic detonation. Exactly. All right. Then, all you have to do is place the blade where you want it. Picture yourself under cover of night in enemy territory and then imagine how much longer it would take to cut your way through with wire cutters. No contest. Okay, it's time to put the Bangalore blade through its first ever test. The best part is they're letting me press the button. Range is hot. You guys ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Fire in the hole. <laughs> I love it when things go boom. But remember, blast alone won't make a dent on this high tensile reinforced steel. Now we get to see just how much of that Constantine wire we've moved out of the way. You can definitely see it did its job, didn't it? Look at this thing. It's shredded. I take one step over, it's free and clear. Nothing's around. The trench would have cleared Absolutely. out any uh, anti-personnel mines if they were uh, embedded underneath the wire. Yep. Yep. But the big thing to me is just look how much of this area was cleared out. It completely blew this And if you're thinking to yourself, hold on a minute, what about the element of surprise? Remember, you get to choose the moment to launch a full strength attack. Obviously, if you're on the receiving end of this, if you're on the inside wall, that smoking through there as fast as it did, as loud as it does, and it's gonna be nothing but dust and dirt kicked up at them, they're not gonna know what to do. They won't be able to react. We, however, know that it's coming, and we're gonna count on them being you know, overawed, shocked into absolutely no action when we, we come through that Constantine wire. 